Yeah. All right, it's time to talk about public goods. Um, public goods are a special type of goods. There's a continuum that goes from pure private goods, that is, where all of the costs and all of the benefits accrue to an individual. Then at the other extreme there are pure public goods. And then in the middle between these two, some goods have character, some characteristics of both. Some have uh, the characteristics of private goods and public goods. But a, a pure public good has two characteristics. One it is it is not excludable. Others cannot be excluded from enjoying the item, whatever it is, in equal measure to the person who provided it. The other is, the other uh, characteristic is, it is non-rival in consumption. Now, an example of a pure public good would be something like uh, flood control or maybe national defense, uh, street lights, um, there are others, but the characteristic of a pure public good, for instance, if we decide, oh, lighthouse is another, if we decide, if, if, if the community has 5,000 people and uh, 1,000 boats, and the 1,000 boat owners say, you know, getting into port is very dangerous with all these rocks, we need a lighthouse. A lighthouse will keep our boats safer. So, they say, well, lighthouse will cost so much money, la di da And uh, let's all pitch in and build a lighthouse. And so they start talking about it. And people start realizing that if this lighthouse gets built at all, and they have a boat, they will benefit even if they don't pay. And there's no way to prevent them from paying. So that that lighthouse, once it's on, Will, uh, will point the way for boats whose owners paid as well as boats whose owners did not pay. In equal measures from benefiting from that lighthouse. And not only that, but it's non-rival in consumption. person benefits, it doesn't diminish the other person's ability to benefit from it. Uh, the first person is not harmed in any way because the second person benefits from it. Whereas a, a, a pure private good would be like a, a can of, of uh, bottled water. If I pay the costs, I can enjoy the benefits of it privately. I can exclude others from doing it. You try and take my water, I call the cops. Or, if I do let you enjoy my water, there's a cost because the water you drink, I cannot enjoy. That means it's rival in consumption. So pure private goods are both excludable and rival in their consumption. Both cannot enjoy it in equal measure. So, uh, lighthouses, uh, flood control, national defense, any of these are, have the characteristics of pure public goods. Um, what is the problem with, pre, uh, with pure public goods? Well, there will be under allocation. That is, there will be too little of it done because there is no market mechanism that will, will collect from everybody who benefits from it. Uh, this is known as free riders. Uh, blood sucking free riders, I believe they're called. Woo woo! Children. If, um, if half the people get together, and build the lighthouse, because it's, the lighthouse is not excludable, others know that they can be free riders, and they have an incentive not to contribute. And because they don't contribute, there will be inadequate money. If it's all left to voluntary processes, there will be an under-allocation, because too little money will be collected to build a proper lighthouse. So what is the solution to this? Well, it turns out that there are two most common. It's normally believed that the first solution is to create a government. And the government decides, we're going to build a lighthouse, and the lighthouse is going to cost $6 million to build. And so they simply tax all the boat owners, their share, 
and then build the lighthouse. And that eliminates the free rider problem because all who benefit pay. Now unfortunately this creates problems of its own because if you're one of these weekend boat guys and somebody else is, uh, comes in and out continuously and uses the services of the lighthouse a lot, uh, oftentimes the, the, both of those guys will pay the same amount. And in some sense it's not fair. But it at least gets rid of the free rider problem and it solves the under allocation problem because they collect enough money to get these lighthouses built. But there's another way. Apparently in England before, uh, before the 20th century, lighthouses were built by private processes. And the way they did it was they attached the cost of the lighthouse to the costs of boat docking. So that any ship that was coming into the harbor that docked at one of the, I mean that docked at any of the docks, the, the charges for the harbor uh, included the costs of the lighthouse. So if you can tie the cost of the public good to some other good that's related to it, then uh, the government doesn't really need to tax and the people who use it most will pay the most. And it, that also eliminates the free rider problem. Uh, the final example is uh, shopping malls, where people get to go and enjoy the nice uh, atmosphere, the air conditioning, the free parking, and so forth. All of that's a public good. But how is it paid for? The government doesn't tax everybody to um, pay for that. In fact, the payment is made by the shop owners who include the costs of that in the price of the goods that they sell. So they've tied the price of the goods in the shops, in the mall, uh, to all of the public goods that exist. Anyway, just as a side note, uh, libraries, parks, fire departments, uh, police departments, etc. are quasi-public goods. They are not pure public goods because they can be excluded and oftentimes they're rival in, in consumption. So, anyway, that's public goods, what they are, what the problem is, blood-sucking free riders, what is the solution? Either uh, the most common solutions are either to tax, to form a government, and to tax, or to tie the, the payments to something else that's related to the public good. That's it. Yay. May I add on a side note that sure. we are offering Hobble shirts. Yes. This is the advertisement? Yeah, the acronym is horrendously outrageous basic build illustrations for less and yes you can purchase yours for ten dollars a piece many interesting designs buy it